in her extensive study of Puer psychology, first published in 1970, Marie-Louise von Franz characterizes the typical Puer as one who leads a provisional life. This means the person harbors a strange attitude and feeling that his job, career, car, creative endeavor, or partner is, quote, not yet what is really wanted, and there is always the fantasy that sometime in the future the real thing will come about. Von Franz summarizes her view of the puer as follows, quote, none of his reactions are really very personal or very special. He becomes a type, the type of the puer eternus. He adopts a pattern, and if you do that, you are not at all original. He acts merely the pattern of the eternal youth god, and therefore he has all the features of the god. He thinks himself as something special. For example, he is the one sensitive being among all the other tough sheep. He will have a problem with his shadow, which he generally projects. The worse the identification with the youthful God, the less individual the person, although he himself feels so special." Unquote. In much of the early literature, Puer and Mother's Son were treated as synonyms Puers were described as trapped in a debilitating relation to the mother, tied to her apron strings. The initial instinctive bond between mother and child then develops into an, an emotional tie that binds between mother and son that determines the son's path in life long after and despite his having physically flown the coop. <laughs>